everybody. It's Lisa. John Simmons Brown. And I am coming to you from Kauai. Home. Manuelia. Moo. All of the above. Most of all. The fifth dimension. And above. Here to love. Aloha. Alright, it's been a while since I have done a video. And I had to venture out today to go find the place that I could sit out in nature and away from traffic with the beautiful sun beating down with its crystalline photo and photonic light activations. They are magnificent indeed. They bring forth so much inside of us. I don't really have a topic as those who have watched my videos before know and done the video course. We start out and we cover whatever needs to be covered at that time. Today is a lot. Mm, I may have to do many short, mm, many, however long there may be videos uh, on different topics. But for now, let's get started because we have a lot to do. And I'm doing this on my phone, um, battery. So we'll see how long we get to do this. All right. First topic that I'd like to cover is the photonic light activations that are occurring. And I may have to refer to some notes here because although I totally understand this, I see visually a lot and putting it into words uh, and translating what I see it takes a bit of work. I see from and literally from so many different dimensional realms that absolutely everything, every perspective is true and not. They are both And I hope to address this from multiple perspectives, which tends to get very long. The other day, I <laughs> was going to post, for those who know I post on Facebook. If you would like the quick answer, ask somebody else, because I must search or access each realm to give you an answer. And there are a lot of them, and there are a lot of different answers. Quite personally. So, photonic light activations are magnificent for those who have transcended duality and denseness from the physical reality world. They are not so kind to those who are just awakening, those spiritual seeking souls that are still working through that which is within and has yet to be resolved. Most of all, the human thought that it won't be quiet um, are abs their absolute strongest when the photonic light activations are occurring and they have been abundant lately for those of us who live and exist in magic we have been existing and living in magic abundantly lately it has been absolutely blissful but that's beside the point I'll come back Let's talk about the lower density realms. And I don't mean lower as in good, bad, right, wrong. There is none of that in my reality. Every realm has a purpose. The only difference is that as we come to vibrate at a higher vibrational frequency, we don't see the lower realms any longer. They don't exist. And um, this is actually making many angry because they keep saying, come back down here, come back down here. Uh, sorry, that's not our purpose here. 
um, not in an unkind way. I physically live in a body with everybody here. I am down here in a physical body. My job is not to cater to humans. My job here at this point is not to enable anybody. My job is not to lower my own vibrational frequency. That doesn't assist anybody. We are here to anchor light. We are here to hold light. We are here to be light. And in order to be that light, we must shine the absolute brightest that we can in absolutely every moment. So come back down here. Thank you, butterfly. I just fly you right here beside me. It's not an option. Believe me, there are days we get grounded. That's plenty enough. Our grounding is quite different than it used to be. It used to be quite a bit of suffering. Suffering is different here. We understand it, we observe it, we work through it, we go completely within very quickly. And we don't suffer the way we used to. And we're aware when we suffer and what purpose it serves. It's a different type of suffering. And yes, I'm going off into left field, my crop circles, as I call them, because that's the way I do things. It's called being authentic, true, from the heart. And with love. All right, so where were we? Photonic light activation. Magnify absolutely everything that is within you. Absolutely. And where something out there in the physical world is not in alignment, that gets magnified too. Now the one thing that is becoming very prevalent at this point in time of this journey is that living in an outer world first is becoming harder and harder and harder for those who have refused unconsciously or consciously to go inward. There have many, there have been many who have decided to be conscious when it suited them and not when it didn't. It is becoming more and more and more and more pressure to try to stay there. The being unconscious is no longer an option. I've heard many say lately, I just want off the ride. They don't really mean it. It's just that it becomes quite overwhelming at that time. And believe me, I've been there many, 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 many times. We all do. It is a part of the journey. Although we know. We know inside. We hang in there. Now, for the unconscious person, the entire outside reality will start to collapse and fall apart. And when I go to speak, I see one comment that I make span off into a hundred different ones that need to be said because there are that many perspectives now. And they are unlimited, just like us. So, I will be wondering, just like I wonder on this side with my back check. Magnification, the unconscious being. Let's start here and we'll work our way around. The unconscious being, the thoughts will be magnified so until they get so loud. Literally, the volume has been turned up. Photonic light activations turn the volume up on everything. Thoughts, can't run from them. They get so loud that your head becomes an obstacle course. Um, you just want to mm, do things that are make it be quiet. Not an option. Because everybody, and absolutely everybody, especially after this last weekend, have been activated from what I saw and awakened. So now the game begins. 
I observed and heard while it was occurring that everyone had been triggered to awaken. So now the suffering for those who have been completely asleep and operating from a space of duality, operating from a space of separation, operating from a space of all of those things that we all created in order to get ourselves here for our human experience that we chose, have to come up and go. They will start seeing things. Um, the physical reality will no longer make any sense whatsoever. For the one trying to find their answers outside, they aren't there. It will get more and more and more and more and more confusing by the moment. It's not going to let up. It's going to continue to increase. So if you are one of these, if you find this video and your outside world makes absolutely no sense, if you are utterly and completely confused, if you feel lost, if you no longer understand why you're here. Doesn't matter. If it doesn't make sense, you have awakened. Now, making sense of a reality that is completely the opposite of human is, is one of the biggest challenges that we do on this journey. For me, that's part of my job. My job is to take the illogical, backwards, in reverse reality and world of human and flip it around and provide where I can resources and tools and guides, navigational tools, in a way that it makes sense. I don't have to convince anybody of anything. It's not my job. I only have to activate you, challenge your mind, which is the fun part. I'll explain that later, maybe. And cause you to go inward and sit and pick apart what I say and try to figure it out yourself. Because of what will happen is you'll have to find your own answers, which is what we all have to do. And if I, if the words I speak, if the message I share, if those things I translate, if the things that I remember don't resonate with you, then you'll find somebody else that does. It's just frequency. There was a time we all got offended because people didn't appreciate the things we said or didn't understand the things we said or didn't get why we were trying to teach. It doesn't matter because where it's meant to be gotten, it'll be gotten. Where it's not, it will not. And it will when it's meant to be. And yes, I have bugs everywhere, so you'll see me playing with the wind beautifully. All right, photonic light activations. Now for the lower dimensional realms, as I call them, um, the material, physical world, being, everything's getting magnified, sped up, going faster, falling apart, you name it, it's occurring. It appears to be faster because the vibrational spin is higher, which speeds everything up out there slows everything down inside and then out there slows down and you walk in step with the universe as the universe with everything as everything unified one body of light together again as we now I'm going to skip photonic light activations. Absolutely 
amazing for those who have that duality, transcended it within. Our light gets amplified too. Photonic light activations amplify absolutely everything. And our light is brighter. Now, they also, for absolutely everyone, slow down the brainwave state so that th that's why the thoughts get magnified as they come to the forefront the entire body energy body your spirit your soul your light being self your higher self all of the above amplifies Dying to bust out. Radiate. This is what we do. Now, where we hold light, we amplify. We glow. Beyond that, our sensitivities, whereas in human, it's called being empathic. As a sensitive, everything is overwhelming because our stuff is coming up vibrationally. And everything out there is a trigger to show us what exists inside of us. Being empathic. When there's density and duality. When there is no duality, though, being a sensitive changes. Because then we are just very aware. We operate at a faster spin a higher vibrational frequency of light, sound, and everything triggers us in a different way. Our energy body gets tuned to every frequency. Now, our, everybody, brains, I woke up one morning seeing the brains side by side, the human brain on one side and the universal mind on the other. It was quite awesome to say the least, being shown how the human cannot even comprehend this and why. But our brains, our left brain, masculine, dominant, and our right brain, feminine, dominant, our heart, our universal mind. They, too, are opening up the universal pathways and corridors to the entire universe and beyond. And what's cool is that as it does, we get to see more, we get to remember more, because our memories are not of the human existence any longer. They are of ancient times. They are of times beyond all of this. They are beyond this existence. They are outside the matrix. Everything looks different here. It's very cool. Because when you are in an activated, fully activated Merkaba, you see quite differently. You see from inside a bubble you see the holographic view. You see the play in your bubble and out there. You see beyond the illusion. You transmit and you watch everything magnetize and come in. It's very cool because then you make sure you're radiating light. You make sure you're helping everybody that approaches you. That's another key to this. Those that approach you have something for you or are meant to receive something from you. But the universe has sent them. Your universe has sent them to you. 
I can go out any given day and just walk around in silence in my inner world and tell the universe to send me those that I need to connect to. Tell me where to go when I'm walking. I wander off into the most magnificent places. I meet the most awesome souls. I have people approach me for no reason. And it makes us pay attention and be very aware and focus on our light and what we share. This is about sharing. And I'm not going to get started on sharing because that is a whole other huge topic of unity and community and coming together that has been quite interesting for me to observe because that's a tough one because not everybody's ready yet for this coming to love and I will share in a moment with you really quick I know you can probably hear nature behind me we'll see if I can show you a little bit of the beautiful sun and the clouds I don't know what you can see but you know what it's okay I'm in a huge field of some kind that I wandered off into to come talk to you. Alright, let's go back. I'm going to make a list because I'm actually going to cover something in this video more than I usually do other times because I tend to wander off and go into la la land where I like to be. Magic, happy, and free. Yes, I rhyme when I'm remembering too, okay? So, we may break this up into several videos. So if this one cuts off, this will be part one. We'll go into part two. All right. Photonic light activations going through the photon belt. We have been always, well, I say always, from what I have seen. Um, it has sped up and we are going through it at higher frequencies than we did before. More frequencies are available to us. Now you will also hear me say, absolutely nothing is out there, it's inside of you. That out there is my projection. That's why I get to see that beautiful, awesome, magnificent sky in every moment in these clouds. And so, see so many of you now. Awesome to see all the photos floating around Facebook that everybody's taking pictures of the sky and seeing so many magnificent things. Photonic light exacerbates, expands, lights all up really fast. It shines a light on everything dense. It shines a light on everything of duality. It shines, shines a light of all separation inside. Now, it's really important right now to understand. Anybody focused on an outside world out there trying to make sense is going to be utterly confused. And things will continue to fall apart and loss will continue to occur and adjustments as I call them will continue to occur in order to force you inside. That is the basis of absolutely everything that we're going to be talking about because every answer exists within you. You hold all your own keys. You veiled yourself off. Your higher self is inside of you. It's in your energy field. Your Merkaba in the beginning when you start has no spin or a very little one or somewhat of a one. Just mm, not unified. Now, and the Merkaba could be a forever course with a million gazillion videos because there's so much on that but yet it's so simple too it's almost too simple it takes so much to explain it um, and we'll go on to that again maybe I'll do a whole video just on the Merkaba which is beautiful because when I hear it start spinning I know here we go it's about to be even more fun than it was before <sighs> thoughts are magnified so one can hear yeah Everything in your head gets magnified. Now for me, when the photonic energies kick in, I'm going to close my eyes for a moment because I'm going to actually tune to them so that I can tell you what I receive and what I hear and what I see. And because this is about the easiest way for me, because I'm sitting here looking at some. 
but out here with traffic and everything, I can't really hear that well. But photonic light activation. Light body, vibrational frequency drops. Strain wave state drops. And we end up eventually in gamma, the wave state. Our energy body will have the sound of zap, zap, tap. Um, when electronics or something gets bumped or a car door shuts or somebody puts a lid on a pan or shuts the refrigerator door or something kicks or drops or anything, it hurts us physically because we are so sensitive to sound now. I will tell you anything that is nature doesn't do that to us because we are tuned as Gaia, which is why so many are being driven outside. It's one of the million reasons. Out here, we are completely in tune with absolutely everything there is. So if anything isn't in alignment within you, go outside. Inside is too much pressure. We about pressurize and turn into a boiler cooker inside sometimes. We all have to get out. That's a whole nother topic. Brainwave state drops. High, high, high frequencies kick in. Entire body, you, it's like being zapped with little pings and pings when something happens around us, we can feel it. Um, we're being tuned to those frequencies, some. And other ones, what it is, is anything that's not natural, that is discordant, is out of tune with our frequency and it uh, physically hurts as a light body, as a light being. It actually hurts. It's not the same kind of pain that we knew as humans. And I do speak human and soul because I don't identify with human very much anymore. Uh, human to me is the one that was separated and held duality and had all of the um, dense human emotions um, of separation, fear, guilt, blame, shame, judgment, huge one. Boy, people are suffering the judgment. That is one of the last one to go and suffering judgment is our own and we hang on to that one and that gets magnified too that's not a pretty one to watch either but light body awesome thing we start glistening and glowing and morphing and all kinds of cool things happen Our energy body is lightning and frequency because as energetic beings we will have and do have and it has heightened quite a bit lately. As human uses the word telepathic, I use the word energetic communication because to me that's what it is. We are communicating as energy beings again as one consciousness and lately hearing each other's thoughts has become a pretty much everyday thing. It's pretty cool. And I'll give a cool instance. The other day I went out and um, was lucky enough and blessed enough as a human to be with some people here on the island. One is my awesome housemate here. get a ride up to um, somewhere here on the island to go check out where Jurassic Park was filmed and, and, and um, some rainbow eucalyptus trees and I got out of the car and as soon as I did, before we ever arrived, we had this really, really long drive up around the mountain and it decided to rain so that we couldn't go, haha, uh -huh. the universe takes you where you're supposed to go, we couldn't go where we intended to go some waterfall that was going to be magnificent too. But we weren't meant to go there that day. So, we 
ended up just driving and ending up in a different place and lo and behold as soon as we pulled up at the top of the mountain the rain stopped. Go figure universe. Because we were where we meant to be. And we got there. I had been hearing the entire drive up the side of the mountain. Banyan tree. And I don't know what a banyan tree is in human form. And I kept going, what's a banyan tree? What's a banyan tree? And I'm looking at every tree that passes by, and I'm, I'm asking what kind of trees these are. And, and I never said banyan tree, because it kept going over and over, and it kept getting magnified, and it was louder and louder and louder. And the photonic light activations were going on. And I just kept hearing the word banyan tree. So anyway, we got out, and then I heard enchanted forest. And I looked up, and elemental kingdom opened up. Bigger. Because it has been quite expansive the last several weeks. And I walked around taking pictures like I do because I share them on Facebook and with all of you. And, and I'll tell you what, there's n what they're not to take magnificent photos of. Anyway, played with the in the forest and took a lot of photos connected and we left and on the way out they're like oh the Hindu temple a and so they drove over there and I kept hearing banyan tree banyan tree banyan tree and so I'm pretty much silent unless there's something for me to participate in um, in conversation so I was just listening to everybody and we were talking it was really good conversation um, beside the point and we Got to the Hindu temple, and I'm walking around taking photos of everything because it was closed. We didn't know that. It didn't matter. And my awesome housemate, Corey, says, Lisa, come over here. Look at this. You've got to see this tree. It's magnificent. And I walk over to her, and I still had not seen, I still couldn't see the tree. Still to this moment haven't seen the tree because it was um, misty which is another thing that occurs when the photonic light activations are going and the crystalline energies are going is everything gets very misty outside and soft and the clouds get all puffy. You can actually look and see what energies are activated based upon the way the clouds are formed. Very cool. So, I walked up to her and she's like, you got to see this thing. She's pointing, 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 pointing. All I could do was hear banyan tree, banyan tree, banyan tree, really loud. And I looked at her, and I'm like, what's a banyan tree? And she looked at me, and she goes, you're kidding me. Anyway, she's like, this is a banyan tree. This is what I'm calling you over here. Look at this. And the long story short was apparently there was a Ganesh, Ganesha, um, put in this banyan tree about 30 years ago. This is what I heard. Don't know if it's true. Who cares? Like it. It's awesome. Um... And the tru tree continued to grow and grow and grow until it grew around this little Ganesh that's now inside the banyan tree. Now, I have a certain um, connection with Ganesh, um, which is where I'm assuming this came from. It doesn't matter because I've also been shown that I am to um, partner, unify, come together with some other beings here and start activating the portals on the island um, on this side. And that's another video for later. Mm and the purpose and knowledge and, and, and what they're supposed to do. So that's going to be happening in the next couple of weeks too. Mm. Anyway, banyan tree. It was a banyan tree. And I had been hearing banyan tree from Gaia. Didn't matter. Um, lots of things going on. We can hear all kinds of things now. And on this island, being in the fifth dimension physically, when you hold the vibrational frequency again, we all already exist in the fifth dimension. We have forgotten. Beyond the fifth dimension are all the other dimensional realms, and to me they are all the same realm. I did not know that there were different ones now. Um, I understand everything from what I see, so I don't technically have proper words for much um, until I learn them after the fact. I see 12 or 13 different Earths. I've been seeing 12 for a while, and now I see 13. Um, I see... 13 specific individual mm, dimensional realms, but hundreds of thousands um, realms 
Mm, spaces. And that I will explain later too. I know there's a lot I'm saying, I'll explain later and I guess I'll have to do a whole lot more videos because there's way too much to cover on all of this here. Um, and they're all gonna be in the book, I hope. Because every time I find something to write, I put it in there. So one big compilation of explanation for all of this. I have something behind me. Cool. All right. Um, telepathy. Our human hearing work hurts, our, um, but not in the same way that it used to. Um, energetically, we hear from the inside out now, our, with our entire body. Um, there is much going on. Our breathing, I know that I've mentioned this and talked about this before, it changes. We breathe from the inside out. Um, water. We don't even need hardly water anymore. That's a cool one, too. Um, there's a lot going on. It's... Mm, I actually see the Atlantis Lemurian mm, water, us being able to breathe underneath water. So I do believe that that is coming to teleportation, coming for those who have lightened enough. And with doing the light body energy, it has sped things up so fast. It has become, mm, wow. I did, I've done a ton of sessions since I hit the island. I've been exchanging light body energy. Um, in order to try to bring people together and raise the vibrational frequency of those that I connect with and trying to get resources and people to unify and start br coming together in community. And so um, in addition to some of the other things, I do light body energy and I allow people to bring forth something else to share and we all share together and we come together and we help each other because as we raise the vibrational frequency of others, we raise the vibrational frequency for all of us. And one session, I mean, even before the session, a couple people, but one session, boom, within a couple of days, not even the same person I met uh, soul-wise a few days before, two weeks later, not even the same person doing things that they feared, speaking things, embracing. It is absolutely amazing to watch what the light body energy is doing for those who want to do the inner work. Now, um, it will still assist one who isn't, but um, that's a whole different story because mm, if somebody's not going to do the inner work, then we're, we're extremely limited as to what we can do. So um, I just stay focused on those who are and really, really desire to come together and unify. And that's where I put my attention and I leave the door open for those who are not ready yet. And we do not judge. Another's journey, that's called spiritual hierarchy. Um, anytime we try to tell another how they need to be, how they need to have their journey, how anything is in their world, that is not our business. That is judgment. And we focus on ourselves. We radiate light and we assist from a place of non judgment and love and kindness. And we assist another in their own expansion by pointing them within. And we offer what we understand. We offer what we remember. We share. And I have storm clouds coming, so I know you can see it here, too. We might be concluding this because it's getting very long. All right, so migraines. Huge with huge photonic activations. Why? You can't think here. Um, logical mind, magnified, goes out the window. Um, for those of us who um, don't exist in a logical world any longer um, the thoughts of others when there's denseness when there's a lot of logic going around we can't function it, it actually puts us in overload so I've had to leave the room many times lately when there are people around and, 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 and they are in full steam logic mode it physically hurts us um, too much we get a migraine um, all things move that don't usually move, which means that we just went flexible realities. Okay, yeah, look, I have way too much fun, okay? We don't compromise bliss for anything. We share it, though. Alright, intense sleep. Yes, yes, and yes. I slept for four days last weekend, nonstop, got up once a day to grab something to eat, 
to crawl, and I do mean crawl, back to bed. We were laughing so hard when we could laugh because otherwise it hurt. Because two of us, actually all three of us were sleeping, two of us, um, we made it to the kitchen to get something to eat, to talk for a minute, to make it from the kitchen table, crawl to a couch. Each one of us got on a couch, passed out. We would b wake up, look at each other every so often and fall right back out. We couldn't even lift our head. Um, I was, we, I don't even know how long we were there. Um, we each got up, one crawled off to the bed. I went to the kitchen sink to try to wash dishes. Could not stay awake long enough to wash the dishes. Washed them, thought I was going to die trying to wash the dishes, trying to stay awake. Crawled off to the bed to pass back out again for another day and another day and another day. And after the fourth day, I woke up with tons of energy, all new rememberings a much higher vibrational frequency than I had before, but this is how it works. And have been listening to the photonic activations ever since. Now I do have to say with my light body, my Merkaba, things out there, wow, I'm fixing to have to stop. I'm looking at a massive storm fixing to drop. All right, things out there are becoming exacerbated for us too. Um, we can't hear them anymore. We can't be around them anymore. We can't function around those things anymore. They're not a part of our reality. And it's not because we don't care. It's because we, they hurt. I don't know how else to put it. So mm, we have to tune and, um, and to subject ourselves to something that interferes with our own frequency is um, not an option. So that's all I'm going to say on that one because i got to go. All right. Joy, peace, bliss, magnified. Yes. All kinds of realms open. It's beautiful. Thoughts materialize very fast. This is what some people call alchemy. This is what the human calls manifestation. It is materialization vibrationally of that which you believe and think you believe duality and density it's going to materialize really fast for you to get a lesson for you to get an experience if you don't if you're in creation mode every moment moment and in unity and bringing people together and sharing light then boy you talk about pulling stuff to you fast it comes fast so all right i'll skip that one sensitivity are amplified already covered that one we did the empath the human um, we feel too much overwhelming as an empath as human. Here we, um, our sensitivities are amplified in a different way. In a most awful, awesome way so that we can expand to do more awesome things. All right, the zoom zoom of the brain. Um, as the universal pathways open up when the photonic light activations occur. We actually hear zoom, zoom, zoom. We lay our head down, zoom, zoom, zoom. That is energy opening up pathways. That is our pineal gland activating. That is light being blasted from the inside out. So I'll cover that one a bit more later, but that one's awesome too. And melatonin, from what I have come to understand, is relief. Um, other things are relief. That's what puts us to sleep. All right, the zap, zap energy body. You'll feel that when things are being um, out of tune with your frequency um, and then let's see what else there was something else I wanted to cover with this one but this might be the end of this apparently so because I have no thoughts left which means we are about to get a storm and I have to grab a rain jacket and I have to head for cover because I have to walk back home or in the town because I'm in the middle of nowhere on Kauai on the island Oh, hold on. Magnificent Tracy. In a rainstorm. All right, so I don't know if I covered anything. I just wanted to say hi. I wanted to come share something. I did want to say how imperative it is that you go in. The answer, if you're confused, if you don't know, go inside. Go within. Go lay down. Go to sleep. Go talk to your higher self. Do not focus on an outside world. If you don't know how, find somebody that does and ask them to, to assist you in going in. We are at a time 
that in the past people didn't want to pay for energy work. People didn't want to pay for inner work. People didn't feel it was important. That is about to change because tools are about to become very necessary very fast. And mm, I'll cover the disillusion, the disintegration, the destruction of the entire lower realms because that's a huge thing too. Um, because we are the ones that cause that by not believing them in, e in them anymore. They start to destruct and fall apart. It is our own non-believing in them that causes them to fall. So for all those people running around going, oh no, things are crumbling and falling apart. Yes, we all are creating that to occur. Um, we have to understand it from this pers perspective and, and how it is meant to be and that it is part of the process we came here for. And that in our remembering, we do not believe that outside world anymore. And when we pull out of the matrix and come to exist in a state of bliss and go through the purging of the human existence, the transcending of duality within and come to exist in as Christ consciousness, as crystalline bodies, as Christed beings, as sovereign beings, as our higher self, as our fifth dimensional existence. Here, in the physical, we walk around, we are walking souls. Nothing less. Remembering is a state that we exist in again at all times. We do not forget. Now, the thing about that is, is that when we fell, when we descended, right now what's happening, and I'll do this really quick, is the Merkaba kicks in. We start ascension. Woo! The airplane. It's awesome. And I write about this all the time. You'll have to go back and read for now. We ascend. Gravity goes. We actually do lift off. This is where everybody's head gets fuzzy and a lot of other things occur. When the Merkaba mm, powers down, which is what it sounds like, there's an airplane engine powering down and we're on the runway and, and, and you could feel descension occurring all over again. And when we descend, it's pivotal all over again. We have to experience descension again and it throws us in a state of instant, mm, it's like being in a pressure cooker and anything that is of duality gets, gets mm, just whoosh, huge. We feel like we're about to burst. We can't even be around it. I've had to leave recently and just go down to the beach and, and, and get away because, and then I had to go inside. I had to figure out why out there um, was having issues. Um, and what was in within me and I had to get okay and let it go really fast and when I did then out there really quickly started coming together again um, so we're ascending and descending boom boom up down up down up down and when we do it drops us back into anything that's separated inside of us and it is full blown bigger than we are um, if we're not aware so be aware, be present, be conscious in every moment, be an observer, your higher self from your heart, and let go of judgment. When you hear your thoughts going, observe them, see that they're there, say, wow, I didn't know you existed, and, and figure out a way to get okay inside and understand that they are not real, they're learned, they are acquired they are representative of the vibrational frequency that you came here to transcend inside of you that's it human puts a label on it forms an opinion about it adds an emotion to it creates this whole cocktail of recipe of things to deal with in details they are of the ego the human mind them everything you see is a memory one is either of your human existence or your 
existence beyond here, other parallels, doesn't matter. When you come to understand, things do make sense. All you have to do is allow yourself to be this way again, to remember, open your heart, let go of separation. And if you don't know how, find somebody who does. Find somebody that resonates with you. They're all over the place now. We are everywhere. And you all have to decide. This is where it's coming down to. Those who haven't wanted to pay will have to pay. Because we still have to live in a physical world and we still have to pay to live here. But money goes here. And we couldn't care less. And we are actually existent based upon those who are kind enough to come from their heart and donate to keep us working so that we can share freely to help everyone. So, if any of us have helped you, go within, find it in your heart and help, help us help others. We exist only for this. There is absolutely nothing else we do. We breathe this in every moment. It's just why we're here. And it is the separation inside that created this entire mess to start with, which was the purpose. And we get it. But we don't have to be this way anymore. We are unified. We are coming together in human reality to create new earth so that everybody can exist here again by way of remembering. That's all it is. When you remember, you let go of all that is separated inside of you that you cannot remember. If you don't choose, well, you can, but it happens as however it um, needs to happen for you. Some people came here and had memories and then veiled. I wasn't one of those. I had no memory. Fell in it backwards. Doesn't matter how we got here. Doesn't matter how long we've been doing this. That's a human thing. Doesn't matter if we've been doing this a week, a year, 10 years. It's all vibrational frequency. We are all exactly the same. There is a version of us in every reality. There's a version of us on every earth. There is a version of us in every realm. Which version we get is up to us. Which version we get of another that we interact with is up to our vibrational frequency and how we perceive them to be. If we perceive their higher version, then we are in our higher version already. And that's the version we will get. Sometimes there's a void in between. There's a space in between where you have to let go because it's not about them. It's about your human mind comprehending that you can even get a different version of them to start with. When you can walk dimensionally, you can get any version you want. So, yes, I live in an upside down, inside out, backwards, in reverse, Merkaba spinning reality. And so do you. So do you exist here already. And all we have to do, all of us, together, is unify. Quit acting like a bunch of children who can't share their toys. And start bringing to the table what you have to offer. Because that is what we all have to do. This is why we're here in a physical body. Then, everything gets easier. And that out there doesn't matter anymore. Because then we all live from our heart as it has always meant to be in this reality. So, I love you. I am so very honored to be able to do a video with you almost an hour long today in a dead battery. And I look forward to connecting with each one of you who decide to step forth. And honor you, honor all of us, and do something helps us all, whether it be working on yourself, whether it be offering up support to help us, whether it be bringing something to the table that we can all unify and use. Doesn't matter. We'll do it. 
in every way, shape, and form because this is how it is. It's already occurred. We are just now operating in the vibrational frequency again where it exists. I love you. And my love. So much now. Thank you for journeying, journeying with me on my dimensional journey as a light body, as a being of light in my own Merkaba, unified with you as a body of light. Namaste. Mahalo.